All right, we're here today taking a look at the Edelred Cobb Mini Hall System. We've been anxious to get our hands on this for quite some time now, just because we saw how compact it is, how light it is, and it's got a lot of cool functionality to it. We've had it for the past couple weeks, and we've been really happy with how it's performed. So let's just get straight into it. So like many on the market out there right now, this is a four to one or five to one hall system, depending on how you orientate it. Right now we have it in the four to one hall system. If we flipped it over, uh, it would be in the five to one hall system. So again, just depending on how you orientate it, right? Just like many out there on, on the market. The, on each end, it has swivels on both end of it, which makes it great for ring purposes, just like the Aztec kit. The biggest difference with this guy compared to most out there is this. It has webbing instead of a rope. So it's, that's, that's what gives it the ability to be uh, so light as well as it comp compacts down incredibly small. Um, that's great. Our concern with it was using webbing over rope. How efficient was it going to be in reality? It over claims that it's 91% efficient. We were a little skeptical about it just because of the surface area of the webbing. We did some very unscientific testing with uh, this versus a Petzl Jag um, and a CMC Rock Exotica Aztec kit. And the difference was negligible. We were really happy with it. We were actually really surprised by it, to be honest with you. So um, great efficiency for it. Definitely around that 90% efficiency rating that they do claim. Okay. Um, other functionality of this guy up top is a cam. It's a cam for progress capture. Uh, the thing we like about this as well is there's no teeth in it, unlike some out there. So it's very easy to release. So when I'm hauling up, the cam's going to automatically grab my progress. When I want to release it with a light load, I can come up here. And, bear, and unlike some, I have to actually lift up on it to release it. This guy, because there is no teeth, as soon as I take a little pressure off it, I can release it down and control it. Push that back down on the button. Up top here in this green guy, if I want to lock this into place, to put this into free flow mode, that'll lock into place. If I want to release it, I just take that green tab again and release it down and back into that progress capture portion. Uh, the another cool functionality portion of this is this green plastic tab right here. So. Uh, how they have it is they can take move this up to help you out with a grip for hauling. So if I want to haul up onto it, it gives me a little bit extra grip when I'm hauling. Um, but to be honest with you, the webbing, even compared to the rope, gives you a lot of surface area to grab onto. So we've never even really needed it, but it is a nice, nice thing to do if you do have an extra heavy weight. You can move this up to wherever you want it as an extra grip. The other thing this, this tab acts as is I can take it up all the way up to here to help control a heavier load when I'm lowering. So I'm going to put it all the way in place, all the way up to the top. As I go to release the tab, I want to clip it into the top green portion there. And I'm going to release this. Now it's in a locked position. If I want to lower down and help control my load, I'm going to depress this down. And then it's just going to lower down. I can control my load a lot better with this guy with heavier loads. Okay. And then when I want to put this progress capture up again, just release that tab. And then I'm back into there. And I can move this green tab back down to wherever I want it. A quick side-by-side -side comparison of the Edelry Ka, the Petzl Jag system, and the CMC Rock Exotica Aztec kit. So you can see just by holding these up how much smaller the Edelry Ka is because of that webbing that they're using inside there. I'll also show you here real quick is how small this guy crashes down. So very, very small, very small system. Um, very efficient. We're very pleased with this thing throughout the testing that we've been using it with. It also comes with this nice little carry bag that you can clip onto the back of your harness. Honestly, for us on rope access jobs, especially as a level three, I usually have some sort of mini haul system on my back just in case something pops up. And this guy being how small and compact and efficient it is, it's going to end up being that go-to system for us going forward. So check it out, elevatedsafety.com. Check out our gear shop for more information. Edward Cobb mini haul system.